this Mike Powers guy, he really knows what he's doing with this AI stuff. Maybe you should subscribe. Deep fakes. The technology is finally here and it is scary. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can make a deep fake video just like the one I showed you at the beginning of this video. And it's going to be completely free and you won't have to install any kind of programs or do any kind of coding work. It'll all be done through a couple special programs I'll show you in this video. As a quick disclaimer about deep fakes, be very careful with this software and don't try to spread any misinformation or make any videos that are potentially harmful. This is specifically right now for research. You can make anyone say basically anything and it's pretty much free and available online. So I guess we've already kind of crossed the Rubicon at this point. But anyway, enough talk. Let's just get into the video. So in order to make your deep fake, we're going to need three different pieces of software and they're all going to be available online. I'm going to walk you through them step by step. And the first one is going to be 11 labs. And this is going to be for our source audio. So the two things that make up a deep fake video are the audio and then also the video. And for this specific deep fake, all we're going to do is change what the person is saying in the video and have the lips match as well. We're not going to be doing any face swapping, but there's other programs out there if you want to do that instead. In this instance, the deep fake is just making someone say something they didn't say at all. So to start off with our source audio, for this example, let's use someone else. All right, for this example, we're going to be using Jeff Bezos. I just found this clip off YouTube of him talking about Amazon. On. And what we're going to do is first get some audio from him. So I have this extension up here, which is just a Chrome audio capture. And all I'm going to do is just record a couple seconds of him talking. These are big, horizontal, powerful technologies. And in my view, I got about like 10, 15 seconds worth of audio. That's all we're going to need for this video. And once you have your audio, you can get it any way you want. But I find this just the easiest way to do it. Just save your audio to a folder. And then we're also going to need some sample video. So for the sample video can honestly be any kind of video you want, but you want to keep in mind a couple things. First is body language. You really want the person in the video to be as still as possible. And you also want their mouth movements to be as concise as possible. You don't want someone who's like throwing their arms up in the air and like, like doing a parade or something or, or walking or, or doing anything like that. You really want just a straight shot on their face just talking. With those kinds of videos, I've gotten the best results. Also, you want it to kind of be a bit up close. If you use videos of the person where they're super far away, you could tell a lot more that it was made with AI just because it doesn't have a lot to work off of because it will downscale the video when it makes the generation. So for this instance, what I'm going to do is use a clip here when Jeff Bezos is talking when he's kind of in like this portrait headshot angle right here and this will be perfect for our video all we're gonna do is just get a clip of Jeff Bezos talking for like 10 to 15 seconds. So I'll try to get one where he's looking at the camera a little bit more. So I just cut up this roughly 15 second clip. Should be fine for this. We'll head on over to 11 Labs to generate our audio. So I'm over on 11 Labs. And if you don't know what this is by now, it's basically the best voice cloning software that you can use. You can get started for like a dollar and it's honestly worth it if you want to experiment with this kind of stuff. You can use the free plan if you want to use like a sample voice instead. But we really want to use the access to instant voice cloning feature from the starter plan. And then once we're in 11 labs, we'll head on over to add voice and I'll click on add generate or clone voice and I'll pick on instant voice cloning here. And then we'll just name this Jeff Bezos. And then we just have to add in our audio files. I only have this one I just got off YouTube. Took me literally 10 seconds to grab. You don't really need a lot for this to really work, which is super huge. We'll use it and we'll test it out. We'll say, okay, we'll do a kind of a fun one here. I thought this was funny. Hello, Amazon employee. You're not allowed any bathroom breaks. Please go back to work. Thanks, Daddy Bezos. Let's see what we get from this. Hello, Amazon employee. You are not allowed any bathroom breaks. Please get back to work. Thanks, Daddy Bezos. I just added a couple periods and some more commas in here, and hopefully it'll break it up a little bit more to hopefully not run through the, the audio super quickly. Hello, Amazon employee. You are not allowed any bathroom breaks. Please get back to work. Thanks. A daddy Bezos. Okay, <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go with it for now. But once you get your cloned audio, you can tweak this as much as you want. We'll download it here and then we'll head on over to our next program called Lalamoo. I haven't seen anything else like it. It's free. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to sign up. It's literally just you go on the link and you can start using it exactly how it is right now. And they have a bunch of different videos for you to test out. So we'll try one here. I really like this Voldemort one. I think it's super funny. So what we'll do is I'll pick this one and then you can pick from some of the sample audios here. They have like a Borat one uh, homer simpson peter i'll do this one of peter griffin i don't know who you are 
I don't know what you want. Okay, so once you get the audio you like, you can just click on the button here to pick what audio you want. Once you have your video selected, just click on generate lip sync video. The ones that are pre-selected on here don't take that long to make. In my experience, it's been like a couple minutes tops and they do seem to be a little bit better just because I think they've had more time to train on these specific videos to get the lips to move in the right way. Okay, so it took roughly about a minute or so in order to generate and let's see what we got. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want but I have a very particular lack of skills. I will never be able to find you. But what I do have is $2 and a Casio wristwatch. I'm not gonna lie, that that's pretty good. The lip syncs really well. I think what they're using is some sort of wave to lip stable diffusion model. I've been trying to play around with this a little bit over the last couple weeks. It's basically one of the models I showed in one of my previous videos, but then they use a stable diffusion model on top of it to kind of blend in the sides of the mouth so it looks like it's actually part of the person. And I think it does a really good job. I mean, this one is, but is I have pretty convincing. But instead, let's go back to our original example of Jeff Bezos and I'll click Click on add new audio. And then from here, we can also, if you want to generate audio, you can do it through here as well. They have a couple different people you can pick from, or if you want, you can upload your own audio. So what I'll do for this is I'll upload our Jeff Bezos audio that we have here, and then it will just pop up here in our choose an audio section. And we'll just make sure we have this selected. And then what we can do is down here, click on upload video, and we'll just upload that video that we made from Premiere of the sampled Jeff Bezos clip of only his head talk. Talking. The thing is with this kind of stuff is it'll be kind of weird because you really have to find a clip that matches the way he's presenting in order to make it look believable. And then we'll see how long this takes. It shouldn't be more than like maybe a couple minutes. I've gotten some times where it takes like up to 15, 20 minutes. And then I've had other times where it does it in like three or four. Hello, <laughs> Amazon employee. You are not allowed any bathroom breaks. Please get back to work. Thanks, a daddy Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did I just make, honest to God? I think that took around like two or three minutes to make. It's only a six second clip. The maximum length you can make right now is up to 30 seconds. And I'm pretty sure if you want, you can just string them together if you wanna make something longer than 30 seconds. But it doesn't look half bad. But then once you have your clip, we'll just right click on it and then open video in new tab. And then that will allow us to save our video. And then once our video is downloaded, we're gonna wanna run it through an AI video upscaler. And now there's a lot of them out there. So you're gonna have to kind of play around with it, determine which one's the best one for you but the one that i've been liking so far is is this one by tensor picks they give you some credits to start off with and then you can also earn more credits if you invite people but like i mean that's kind of lame so we'll just use their video enhancer here and i'll upload my clip of jeff bezos's deep fake and then once we're on this we can just click on the ai upscaler and i'll do the 400 and then i'll do the ai denoiser and that should only take about a 0.18 credits whatever and we'll just do the entire video Video and I'll enhance this and then we'll see what we get and see if it looks a little bit better. Okay, so it's just about to finish doing the upscaler here and this took about four or five minutes to do. We'll click on preview and then I'll just download it before we begin to play this and let's see what we get. Amazon employee, you are not allowed any bathroom breaks. Please get back to work. Thanks. A daddy Bezos. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, the thing is, it's blown up on my computer, so it kind of looks like spaced out, and it looks a little bit fuzzy, but I think that's just from the sample video. If I were to throw this into Premiere Pro, and let's give it a watch. You are not allowed any bathroom breaks. Please get back to work. I mean, you can definitely tell it's AI just between like the way like his lips move and the way he he turns his mouth. There's you can see the artifacts around his lips, but it doesn't look half bad. I mean, if if I was like standing like 30, 40 feet away, this is pretty convincing. And then it really just comes down to how good the audio is. This isn't even like a good clip of him. In my opinion, he's moving around a lot. So we could definitely get some better results if we had a better sample video to do the generation off of. But that's basically how you can make deepfakes all online for free. It only costs like a dollar if you want to use 11 laps to get the real deep fake voice cloning and make it that much more real. As I keep saying, please don't use this for anything harmful. Although I know people are just going to disregard that anyway. But I hope you learned something in this video. Make sure to leave your comments what you think about this technology and how you plan on using it. But that's going to be all from me. I'll see you guys in the next one.